Hello there, YouTube. So, for any of you who enjoy the RAV Vast and the RAV Pan or any hand pan, you should have some fun with this. If you use a DAW like FL Studio, as I am using, these samples I have recorded from the virtual RAV Vast player and from the hand pans they have as well on the virtual player, it's a lot of fun to mess with making custom scales and playing them using a MIDI keyboard within FL Studio or if you have a different DAW then you can find another way to do this. But I use FL Studio with FPC since with FPC you can load a bunch of samples and use a MIDI keyboard to play them. So basically I just re-recorded all of the RAV Vast and RAV Pan sound samples that exist uh, in their virtual player and for any notes that they don't have out of the scales that they offer. I filled in the blanks by pitching notes, so they are all edited very cleanly. The audio is all very clean and well put together so that messing with these samples is a lot more fun this way than it is to actually play their virtual player. No offense to them for it, it's just that it's a little difficult to use. Whereas in this case, you can make any custom scale you can possibly imagine. You can go up to 16 or 32 notes I usually stick around 9, 10, or 11, or 12 just to make it more realistic, you know, like as if it was a real RAVVAST or PAN. And so, first thing I need to mention though is for all these RAVVAST samples that I had made, I had originally saved them all in 432 hertz. So if you want to use them at 440 hertz, all you have to do is pitch the sense. Like if you're using FPC as I am, you would just go up 32 cents or so, and you'd be there. And for the rev pan, I had saved all these at 440, so I pitched them down 32 cents to make it 432 hertz. And so I already have loaded some samples here. All you would do with FPC is just click and drag out of this is the rev notes and these are the rev pan. You would just you, know, you would just click them and throw them in there. You would do whatever you want with the custom scale. I have I have E2 through probably G5, I would say. So you have a very, very broad spectrum of notes to use. And right here I have a G Pygmy with 12 notes, and I've added some to the top to make it a little more interesting. And uh, I also have added effects to it so it'll sound a lot different from a standard. You know, it has EQ and compression and all that good stuff. And uh, one thing I love about using FL Studio with this method and FPC is that I can simply come here and change the key or pitch that it is. So instead of being G as it is like this, I can pitch it up. Or down. And so that makes it fun to be able to mess with any scale you like. You can hear out sounds in different keys or just make a custom scale. So I will have a link in the description that you can download all these sound samples to use in this way if you would like to do so. If you don't use a DAW and specifically not FL Studio, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, and this is the method I came up with to do the whole process. So otherwise, I don't know what use these samples would be if you don't have FPC to use with it. Yeah, I'm sure other DAWs might have something similar, so yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoy. Have fun messing with samples, and I'll leave with a little tune.